Okay, so I'm going to show you the squat with delayed knee extension and this um, also works with the slight weight shifting concept where we begin our squat more on the heels, we try to stay upright and then between 60 and 120 degrees at the hip we come forward a bit with the knees because if we don't come forward with the knees then the only way to get down is to go more at the hips and the essence of a squat is to be upright otherwise it's a hinge, right? So we start on the heels we allow the knees to come forward, meaning the midfoot is going to get loaded. The arch of the foot is going to be compressed and flattened out slightly. And then at the bottom, we can allow our weight to come back onto the heels as the knees come out slightly. And this is just a natural motion. I'm not forcing this. And then from the heels, where I'm very upright, I'm just I'm keeping my center of mass back, my ribs back. I can then, to come up, send my weight forward again into the midfoot, pushing the knees forward and then come through with the hips. So that's the delayed knee extension. We open up the hips, we come up as high as we can before driving the knees straight. Because what happens is when people drive their knees straight too early, same thing is when the hips come back. The knees come straight too early and the hips don't open. It ends up being a hinge. Right, so through the middle of us, what we're on our heels, and then at the bottom we're compressing forward, which isn't what we want. In order to squat upright and stay balanced, we need to be heels and then midfoot through the middle of the squat, heels at the bottom. So see how my knees come forward and then back? That allows me to stay really balanced. Now it's easier on a plate. It's also easier with a counterweight in front of you, but you can, Try taking that stuff away as well. And what you find when you delay that knee extension uh, is that in this motion, as you come forward, you start to feel your, your hamstrings come in. And you also start to feel that pronation or internal rotation happening. And that's a good thing. That's going to free you up. It's going to enable you to keep a stable spine and restore the rotation of your hips. So practice these things. Delayed knee extension squat.